Hi there, greetings from Percentilers. This is Mayank Rath Singh bringing to you the last set of questions uh, which appeared in uh, Quant of CAT 2020 slot 2. These questions are all from Geometry. They will all be covered only in one video. These are the last set of questions remaining for this slot. So let us have a look. Out of the four questions, I believe that three of them were quite simpler to do. One of them was difficult and this is the difficult question. So you may want to pause the video. Give it a try if you are decent with Geometry concepts and then resume. Making a small picture would help the imagination. This is it. This is the center of the circle. This direction is east, which is three meters. And this direction is north, which is four meters. Now east and north are at 90 degrees with each other. These make five. Okay. Let this piece be X and this piece be Y. So basically, we are expected to find the sum of the three pieces roughly because they asked us nearest to. Now, if I just extend these line segments to make them look like chords, let's name them. So this chord is PQ. These points are A and B and the center is O anyway. So let us name the other parts also L, M, N, R. We know the property of two chords intersecting inside a circle, isn't it? So they are like P, Q, R, S meeting at the point A would be like P, A into A, Q is equal to A, S into A, R. We are going to help. We are going to get the help of this property in this question. And let us do this. We know that the radius is 5, so this ON is 5 and OR is also 5. So we can write first that AP to AQ is equal to AL into AN. Now we know that the diameter is 10, so AL must be 1 and AN anyway we can see is 9. And AP, we know it's X and AQ is 5 plus Y. Right, similarly for the other pair of chords, that is again PQ and RM. So we can write BQ into BP is equal to BM into BR and accordingly BM into BR we know it's 2 into 8 and BQ into BP would be Y into 5 plus X. So from here we get this equation and this equation. So we know that there are only two variables X and Y and there are two equations so they will be solved. You can give it a try you know of solving these two because uh, the equations are in multiplication form and in the bracket we have addition terms also. This is going to become a quadratic equation in x or in y solving which you will get the values of x and y so i'm skipping that part that you will be able to do that that's only a clerical job there is nothing very analytical about solving a quadratic equation so i'm skipping so i'm skipping that part so you can just find the value of x and y as 1.2 and 2.6 so x plus y you get as 3.8 we had to find the value of x plus y plus 5 so that will be 8.8 roughly so we got the answer that is third off this was the only difficult question so hope you were able to understand this it was only calculation bad numbers which made it look difficult otherwise the question was otherwise doable moving to the next question so for this question i have already made a rectangle and an equilateral triangle one way to get the answer to this question is by using options so let us do that we have been asked the value of the length of the longer side of the rectangle. So let us pick the first option. If the longer side of the rectangle is 18, the shorter side would be 6 going to this ratio. In that case, the perimeter of the rectangle would be perimeter of rectangle would be 48, which implies perimeter of triangle would be 42 because the sum of the perimeters was 90, which implies the side of triangle would be 14. I don't think now we even need to check if r equal to t square or not because t will have 14, a multiple of 14, that is a multiple of 7. Whereas you can see the rectangle is does not have 7 in its area. So I think the first option is discarded. Let us move towards the second option which says 24, which means the other side is is 8 one third okay so perimeter would be 64 according to this the perimeter of a uh, triangle would be 26 but 26 is not even a multiple of 3 this will come out to be a fraction and once it's a fraction i don't think r will ever be equal to t square because the area of rectangle would be an integer 
but not so in the case of triangle. So I think the second option is also discarded. We can now move to the third option. Third option, this is 21. So this will be 7. So perimeter of rectangle would be 56, double of 28. And in that case, this would be 34. Same problem again. 34 is not even a multiple of 3. So I have to discard the third option also. Now we don't even need to check the last option. But still for your understanding, I'm going to do that. The last option is 27. So if this is 27, this is 9. Perimeter of rectangle is 72. So perimeter of triangle would be 18. Side of the triangle would be 6. Let us find the area of triangle, which is T, which is going to be root 3 by 4 into A square which is actually 9 root and the area of rectangle would be simply 27 into 9. We have been told that R should be equal to T square. So 27 into 9 should be equal to 9 root 3 into 9 root 3. And I think it looks correct. Yes. So 27 becomes the answer to the question. Okay. So taking little help from the option side and then trying to connect the dots, we got the answer. However, I would now like to, however, I would like, however, I would now like to solve the question without taking any help from the options. Okay. So let us say the sides of the triangle are 3x and x and the side of the triangle is a sides of the rectangle being 3x and x and that of the triangle is a t becomes root 3 by 4 a square and r becomes 3x square. Now the question says r equal to t square which means 3 a to the power 4 by 16 is equal to 3 x square. From here, we get x equal to a square by 4 x or a square equal to 4 x, any of these. We also know that the perimeter of rectangle, which is 8 x in our case, that of the triangle, which is 3 a is 90. Now, 8 x can be written as 2 a square. So that is going to become quadratic expression solving which you will find the value of a as 6 the other value would be negative so that would be discarded so if a is 6 putting the value of a you would find x to be 9 and therefore the longer side of the rectangle would be 27 i hope that works for you guys at any point during the video if you found something in which I, in your opinion, jumped to a conclusion and did not write well. So you could pause the video at that point and work out on your paper and reach that place and then maybe move ahead. That is the, the advantage of learning from video. Okay, guys, moving to the third question. Pause the video, try to make a diagram on your own and try to figure out. It's quite an easy, I think uh, it is the easiest question out of the four questions of geometry that appeared in QA of 2020 slot two. So. A diagram I wanted to uh, show you looks something like this. Okay, So this is C1 circle. This is C2. And let us say this is their common center O. This distance is 1 because the diameter is 2 centimeter longer. That means radius is 1 centimeter. Let the radius of the smaller circle be R. So we want to find the value of R plus 1. In fact, 2 times R plus 1. So we know that if this be projected and made a diameter, then this is also R plus one. So I think we can apply that theorem of two chords intersecting inside a circle. Once again, we know that these are three centimeters each. We can write three into three is equal to one into two R plus one. Solving this, you get R equal to four and you wanted the value of R plus one, which is five. So the answer that is the required diameter is 10 centimeter. That's all. Super easy question. You only needed to recall that property of two chords which intersect inside a circle. Okay, moving on to the last question of the video and of also of the section. Okay, again, you can pause the video, draw a rough diagram and give it a try. So I'm going to solve this question again in two ways for you guys. What thing is they say that uh, any interior point why not that interior point be the centroid of the triangle then? It would become easy for us because, you know, we know that these are medians. We know the length of median for an equilateral triangle. Okay. We also know that the median divides the centroid. Sorry. We also know that the centroid divides the median, each median in the ratio 1 is to 2. Okay. So these perpendiculars 
drawn from the centroid so in that case the sum of these three line segments is s according to the question and we know that this s is actually h of the triangle the altitude of the triangle you know because if this portion is x this portion is 2x in case of an equilateral triangle so x plus x plus x 3x is s and 3x is also h so s is actually root 3 by 2 times a but we want the area of the triangle which we know is root 3 by 4 a square okay which you know is s square s square would be e by 4 a square so we need to divide this by root 3 to make it root 3 by 4 a square so this way all we, we get the answer like instantly okay so this was one solution from my side let us have a look at the other solution what if you were not supposed to take or you don't want to take this inside point as the centroid of the circle of the triangle so i have taken any random point now these three are perpendiculars let's call them x y and z lengthwise so we know that x plus y plus z is actually small s we also know that uh, this is a triangle whose base is the side of the triangle this is a smaller triangle whose base is the side of the the, ice, the equilateral triangle so its area will be equal to let's call it triangle one let's call this triangle two let's call this triangle three area of triangle one would be half into a into x similarly you can see that area of triangle two would be half into a into y half into a into z and area of triangle three would be half into a into y so if we add all the three triangles that some of these three triangles will be actually the equilateral triangle which comes out as half a times x plus y plus z and we know that it is actually root 3 by 4 a square so equating the two sides i'll get root 3 by 4 times a square is half into a into s so from here you can get the value of s in terms of a and then you can put or you can directly just find out in any way you will be able to figure out that uh, it's going to be s square by root 3 okay so this is the area of triangle you want to express it in terms of s so you can do that or you could also find the value of s as uh, root 3 by 2 a so what we were talking about in the previous slide has been actually proved over here which is the height of the altitude of the equilateral triangle so you know s is equal to h now and you want to you wish to express the area of triangle in terms of h so root 3 by 2 a into a by 2 or in terms of s you can just figure it out so anyway you get the second option as the answer hope this helps you guys and uh, i really hope you learned something or the other from uh, this video as well with this we wind up the entire quant of slot 2 of cat 2020 let's meet in the next video in which we start the arithmetic questions which appeared in uh, slot 3 of cat 2020 which happened in the evening of 29th november cat uh, 2020 okay guys so that would be all from my side stay very safe stay healthy and stay positive so this is mayank rajan signing off thank you so very much for watching the video keep watching this space